Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I'm excited about tonight. Now, as you can see, I'm not in my office because we're doing a little, a little uh, taping and, and doing some things a little different today. But I'll be back in the office next week uh, inviting you, if it's the Lord's will, to share with me in Bible study. There are so many things that are going on in this world, my friends, and I am grateful. I am grateful that I know the God. God of the Bible, and that we have a very, very, very special gift from the Lord. And that gift is the Bible, the word of the Lord itself. The word of the Lord is the roadmap. The word of the Lord is God's GPS to get us through these turbulent times. And tonight we're going to be teaching the word of the Lord. If it's the Lord's will, I'm going to finish up. I tried last week on talking about the foundations. I tell you, I find that uh, God has more to say than we have time uh, to share. And so tonight we're going to study the word of the Lord together. There's some things that, that I want to talk about that's going to bless you and that's going going to make you think. You know, part of this uh, ministry is that we encourage and inspire thought and, uh, and consideration. Go back, read the scriptures, study to see if we're telling you the truth and consider the things that are being said. And I tell you, when you follow us and you go back and you read the Bible and you see that we have presented the word of God to you in context, that we've presented the word of God to you as it is written, that we do not twist the scriptures, but we preach the word of the Lord and we show you how it is relevant to this day and time. Uh, I tell you, you will find that you're blessed. And I believe that that's the reason many of you watch and keep up with this ministry. And I want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for all of the kind things that you say and the wonderful things that you do. And listen, don't fail when you pray to call my whole name. God, touch, keep, strengthen, lift up Bishop Patrick Lane Wooden Sr. Pray for me. Pray for my family. Pray for our church. And we're praying for you. And the God of all grace is going to keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. Now, before I end this, I want to just hold up something here. As you can see, it's my Jesus pride sign. Now, why am I bringing this sign out today? What's the deal with the sign, preacher? Since June was Jesus pride month and, and you talked about it all month and, and you normally have it up. Well, uh, I want to thank God for our audience. And, and you guys are fantastic in state and out of state all over. And we get we get questions and uh, 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 some questions have come in with regard to the flag, the significance of it. What are we saying? Why? And sometimes, you know, when it may be folded and you can't see the Jesus part. The point is that the rainbow belongs to the God of the Bible and the rainbow is a reminder to God. It reminds him in Genesis chapter number nine of the promise that he made himself that he would never flood the whole earth again with water. And it is a promise. It is a sign of the promise that God made to us that he would never flood flood the earth again with water. So uh, when you see the rainbow, when you see the rainbow, we don't want you to see the rainbow and think LBGTQ or any of those other letters as these people have tried to commandeer God's rainbow. We have the seven uh, colors in our rainbow, which uh, says that we are, praise the Lord, we are showing uh, the biblical rainbow, but uh, we want when you see a rainbow, we want you to think about God. We want you to think about his mercy and his grace grace, just as you see the cross here over my shoulder. When you see the cross, you think about Jesus and how he died for you and me and how he rose again the third day. But ch check this out. He was born of a virgin. He was born of a virgin and he lived a sinless life. Contrary to what Don Lemon said uh, the other day on CNN, Jesus was indeed, when he walked this earth, perfect. He was the only 
perfect, matchless, and sinless child of God. He's the only human being to ever walk this planet who never sinned, never lied, never fell short, always did those things that pleased the Father. He was the perfect, without spot and without blemish, Lamb of God, and he died a vicarious death. That is, it was a substitutionary death. You know who should have been on that cross? You should have been on that cross, and I should have been on that cross. And Jesus, Jesus, Jesus took our place. Brother Gary, the producer behind me, pointed at himself and said he should have been on the cross all also. But Jesus took our place. He died the death we should have died. He who knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Oh, don't you just love Jesus? Don't you just love him? Don't you just love the rainbow? Don't you just love all of these things that remind us about our Lord? So join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. You got it? Bible study. We are going to study the Word of the Lord together. God bless.